Hey guys, Lifter here, and welcome back to Terraria on the Calamity mod. Where you last left off, we fought the Providence Goddess, as well as the uh, Ceaseless Void. And I did do a little bit of off-screen work, got a little bit of gear set up, so that way we can do a little bit better when it comes to fighting these bosses. Uh, I have this Tarragon, yeah, Tarragon Breastplate and the rest of the armor set, as well as the, uh, what do you say, the Life Hunt Scythe. So whenever I hit an enemy, I get like five health points back to me, so it's pretty good, I guess. I have to actually like hit the enemy with the scythe that has a projectile, but I have to hit it with the scythe itself, so it's kind of so-so, but... Not bad. But yeah, I think we're going to try to continue forward, try to fight some other bosses, obviously, like the Stormweaver and like any future bosses. So let's try to do that now. So I'm going to summon him in three, two, one. Now I am using the uh, fish roll mount because he's a lot more useful than the broomstick during the rain. So I am utilizing that to my advantage. And I keep on summoning rain by using the torrential tier, which is really good for that. Now, I will admit I have tried to record this a couple times before, but did not work out whatsoever. So hopefully this time it works out pretty well. Don't worry, there hasn't been a lot of progress past that. I just kept on dying over and over and over again. But I know you guys don't want to see that too often. Couple deaths here and there, sure, that's fine. But like over and over where it's like 20 deaths in a row that's not entertaining that's just boring all right so he does have a second stage which is really terrifying we're about to reach it here soon but it's like really terrifying because he just zooms straight towards you i'll show you guys what that looks like obviously once we get to that stage okay there we go he's starting to do it right now so he kind of zoomed away so let's see if we can spot him there he is so he just does that once in a while once the lightning strike so you gotta like dodge it last second but it's really difficult to do that ah oh, no man we die right there okay we can definitely do it but it's just he's such a tough boss let's try that again though now we did not potion up so we're gonna try that again but more so like potion up once he gets that second stage there but it sucks because the only way to really attack him is to go for the rear end over here before he makes it to his second stage which i don't know i don't like that but i understand why that's the case but he's about to transform there we go okay uh uh, buff up buff up any second now oh that's right we don't have our potions never mind i was waiting for the uh like tesla and the uh fire stuff to go around me but uh yeah we don't have all our potions okay uh we might die here again okay gotta be careful about this part right here all right all right we're doing pretty good we're doing pretty good a little further than last time ouch okay uh got careful okay I hate when he also does that part. He has so many different things he throws at us. We have to be careful of them all. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do a few blood moons, and then we're gonna try to fight him once more again. Alright, let's make some potions here. I'm gonna make two of each here. Alright, I made two of each potion, so let's try to fight him again. Actually, first we do need to hit the sharpening station and the little uh, butching table here. And then we can fight him again. So three, two, one, go. All right, he's in this next stage. Let's uh, do my potions right there. Gotta definitely heal up now. All right, he should be doing his next stage here soon where he summons those like weird tidal wave things from the sky. Ouch, that kind of hurt a lot. Oh God, wow, we are actually almost dead. Oh God, we were, mm, we got halfway there. We got halfway there. We can do this, we can do this. All right, come on, go into your next stage here soon. All right, there we go. He's in this next stage. All right, took a little damage there, but that's all right. So I do have an idea. What I think we're going to do is if we die, we're going to try to go for the Rod of Discord. And I think that will help out super much, you know? So far, we're doing pretty good as far as, like, taking him on goes. The only thing that's really attacking me is his little, like, wave attack here. Like, these things right there. And then we just keep on, like, dashing straight into him whenever he comes by. Okay, he has upgraded to a weird, like, tornado hurricane thing. I don't know exactly what to call it, but, uh, he has upgraded to that. Okay, we're doing pretty well, pretty well. He's about 200,000 health, which is not bad. We gotta be careful with these hurricane things. Gotta go upward pretty much now gotta go through it i gotta go through it that's the only way i can survive with that okay he is really close right now he's a hundred thousand which is really good really good oh he is super close right now we gotta make sure we don't get hit whatsoever at least not hit too much here there we go oh okay i started throwing my hammers there i didn't want to like so pray too early oh my god we finally did it Oh, finally. Okay, what do we get? We got a summons a young storm weaver. Huh, is this a pet thing? Yeah, it is. I like my plushie, though. And we got range weaponry. Don't really need that stuff, but we got armored shell, which can be used, I think, for something. Uh, yeah, we need to summon the cosmic worm, which is to devour the gods. So that's going to be really difficult. I've seen a few clips here and there 
Ooh, definitely don't want to fight him yet. But it does not look like we can really upgrade too much weaponry-wise or armor-wise. So I guess I will focus on fighting the next boss. Now, he is only summoned in the Underworld, so it will be a little tricky to try to fight him in here. So hopefully it goes well for the first few attempts. If not, then we'll probably skip him, try to go to the next boss, which is the Poltergast. But let's see how well this goes. Hopefully pretty good. I don't want to die, really, to be honest. So Ooh, I might need to make like an arena down here because we are pretty slow and this is not working out so well. You know, I could try to summon him above or not summon, but like take him above ground. Try to see if that will work out much better. So I might try that because we just die right there. All right, let's try to take him up. I don't want to use the magic mirror just in case he's one of those bosses that's like teleports away once you uh activate him because there's some bosses out there that teleports as soon as you uh use the magic mirror and you're too far away so hopefully he isn't one of those bosses we will have to try to be careful though because we did take a lot of damage here and we still are yeah okay all right let's try to bring him back to the surface here all right we're in the overworld now seems to be going pretty good so far now i will be honest i don't think i was supposed to take him up here because of the fact that I think I was supposed to fight him underground, like in the underworld. But, uh, you know what? We did it. We're making it easier on ourselves. Work smarter, not harder, you know? Now, I'm gonna be honest, I have no clue if he has any extra stages. So we should probably be careful just in case he splits into, like, seven different versions of himself. But so far, it seems to be pretty generic of a fight right here. Again, I think I was supposed to fight him in the inner world, but we kind of made it easier on ourselves. And I, for one, am not complaining whatsoever here. Okay, so he seems to be mainly, like, charging, charging much longer and, like, slightly faster now. So I guess that's his second phase, maybe? I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. All right, he's almost dead, which I have to say, I think he is, like, the easiest post-Moon Lore Calamity boss so far. Like, it really only took us, like, two tries here to, uh, kind of summon and defeat him. And there we go. He's dead. I mean, not much to say right there. It was a pretty easy fight, like I was uh, kind of saying earlier. We got some stuff here. Not certain most of this will be useful. Uh, we got a Vandy item, I guess. What does this do? We can make... Ooh, look at that. Death's Ascension, but we need a Runius Soul. Oh, uh, we need to fight the uh, Poltergast first. We can definitely try to make that, though. Do we have a Desicle? I think we do. Uh, Death... Yeah, we have a Desicle. We can definitely make that once we fight the uh, Poltergast. But let's go and summon the Poltergast. We have to do it in the dungeon, so we're making our way there right now. All right, I'm going to make my way to that little arena room, summon the Poltergast, and then probably die and have to be like, well, got to make more potions now. I wonder if Polterplasm is used for anything else. I should probably check. Uh, we can make a Phantom Heart. Ooh, that seems pretty cool. All right, let's summon the Poltergast in three, two one i hope this goes pretty well since we're in a dungeon Ooh, it's plantera but i do hope it goes pretty well because of the fact we're in a dungeon and it can be a little tricky in here okay so i can somewhat use the uh, vampire knives i think it's only when she's red nope there we go i wonder what would happen if we try to take her to the top you know what let's try to do that let's try to take her out here so far nothing much is happening i think she might be a little faster but that's about it i think with normal plantera she kind of like closes up or she at least gets like much faster and harder i can't remember what happens but i want to see what happens with the uh poltergast okay she is much faster now oh okay i think we can definitely do it though if we bring the uh what do you say if we bring our uh fish run stuff we can definitely probably do it. All right, I think this time we can definitely make it to the uh, end here. All right, we're almost there. We're definitely close. We are definitely close. Oh, yeah, she's getting a lot faster now. She's getting a lot faster. But we took her out. All right. Time to walk my dog here. Ah, she's no longer after us. All right. That did not work, I guess, as well as I hoped it did. So I guess let's fight her inside the arena. All right. Hopefully this goes a lot better than before. She did hit us once so far, but it's only once. You know, I think we should probably go for the raw discord at some point. So that way we can like teleport away and not deal with some of these like dash attacks or something like that. All right. So far, we're doing pretty good. I'm kind of waiting for her second phase here because I'm assuming she's going to have like the little tentacle arm things like Plantera does when she like breaks apart and just go ah, blah, 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 blah. ah she got me right there i 
think I should probably try to make a better arena, but definitely need to make some more potions. I don't have a lot of blood orbs, but I can at least make the main important ones. So I'm going to go for those, I guess. And then we can kind of try it like this just to see how well we, uh, how will we survive? Actually, we can probably see if we can make the bass statue right now. Try to get at least like five more, uh, defense. Or no, wait, we got one right here. I couldn't remember where exactly I left mine. So that's why I was saying we should probably make one, but I guess I left it here. All right, let's place down our bass statue. I'm going to place it right here if I can. Let me actually break the books, I guess. And there we go. Now we can summon the poltergeist. Okay, she split off into two. Two. Okay. Uh, nothing is healing me here. All right. I'm gonna stick with the life hunt here then. Oh, wow. She is really powerful. Not gonna lie. So let me make some Zerg potions then, because that would be super helpful. Gonna use that. I do have to remember that it's gonna be really rare to get the raw discord. And it sucks because it's like, I want to get it as soon as possible. But it's gonna be a little while, sadly. Well. A whole entire 15 minutes of a Zerg potion and zero rods of Discord. That kind of sucks. Oh, well. Uh, let's try this once more, and then if we succeed, great. If we don't, oh, well, I'll probably just head to bed afterwards, because it is really late for me. I think it's like 5 o'clock right now, and I have to be up in like 2 hours. So, like I said, we're going to try this once more, and then see where it goes from there. All right, let's fight the Poltergeist once more. All right, we got about a fourth of the way down. Just need to take care of the rest of it. All right, she should be splitting off here soonish. All right, there she goes. She split apart. Gotta be careful around her. Ah, uh, we're doing kind of well, but we ah, uh, we just died right there. We were doing kind of well, like I said, but it was just I don't know. I think if we had the raw Discord, it would be a lot easier, or if we could take her out. I'll probably watch like a video on how some people do it. They might have like a giant arena. So that might be something we have to look forward to. So I'll probably do that like off screen type of stuff. But yeah, like I said earlier, it is about almost like 5 a.m. for me and I had to be up in two hours. So I'm gonna go try to get what a little sleep I can. So if you guys did like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. This has been Luther20, signing out. Bye-bye.